by having them both open, look, I got it straight. So I can have that tailgate straight up and I won't be running into it. I like that. So I think I'm going to flatten this, this one out to match this and bolt them together like that. Well, actually... All right, so we went and cut the back dash out. Which brings us to part three. A disclaimer, although I am not a doctor, I'm an experienced nurse and a need to inform you of the side effects that may result from watching this channel. Impromptu project starting, ambiguous thinking, sarcasm, randomness. All right, we're just uh, removing the back, the, the back of the back seat. And we already removed the back dash here. So now we're gonna cut here somewhere and around in a zigzag and and open her up. Here we go. All right, so we went and cut the back dash out. And then we went and folded the steel. So now we have nice rigid metal here. We haven't folded all of it over, but here you can see it's real stiff. It's not going anywhere. And then we'll add another, uh, we'll add more steel in there later on. But for now, we've got her opened up pretty good to receive our, our hatch, or to receive the truck topper. Let's do a check in on our progress, how that's coming out. I'm trying to get it to just just blend right into the car here. I got some some glass in it. It's not perfect. So now we're trying to now I'm trying to narrow down this how to get this um hatch in the back to work with the tail lights and all that doodads so this if this vehicle is driving down the road it still looks crappy but we'll um it'll get better with time you know you know just uh work on it one day at a time one month at a time and something's bound to happen so yeah, it's real rough, but it's coming along. It's coming along. All right, so I'm measuring to cut this line, and I had this vice script on here, and then I said, well, it's not even, so I just ratchet strap to, you know, pull things kind of taut, you know? And you won't believe this, Got 26 and a 16th, 26 and a 16th, there you go, right on the money, huh? Hey there guys and gals, I am so happy with how this is turning out, because we got 12 foot, and we have 10 foot, look at that, huh? Huh? We can carry 10 and 12 foot items in this vehicle now, no problem. I am super stoked. Well, here we are. Here we are. I had uh, the other week. I went and cut this corner. Let's see if you can see here. I cut this corner. And I slid it in to line up better with the fender and to line up with this um, trim here. So, but now I'm feeling a little lost here. So, I needed some more inspiration. I got the jack over here because I'm trying to straighten this roof out. And, uh, so I'm thinking I need to cut into this. I need to cut into this because that was I was planning on making this the 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 lid 
and uh, this is actually the front of the topper that I had cut off when I when I after I set it on so let's see how this goes here remember I hear I can't hear you I go way, way down like that to fit. All right, so I'm going to take, I'm going to cut the bottom lip here. Yeah, I'm going to cut this lip off so that this bottom can fit more flush to the body. Okay, that's much better. Long ways to go on it though. That is so darn close, huh? That is. I think that's close. All right, so I'm gonna do the same on this side. I'm gonna cut this bottom off. And it'll be uh, closer to this instead of this. Cut the bottom off. My idea is, is I'm going to take this uh, previous tr trunk seal and I'm going to use that for the, the part of the, the rear hatch on this topper to seal the, the door up. And I've been cutting, cutting up on it already. You can see I got it really thinned out here. You can see that this... This uh, previous trunk um, seal curves like this. We need it like flat. So we'll just there. Now we'll try it out. All right. So taking a break from that siding deal job and. Uh, Looking at this, uh, my tailgate here, my hatchback for the car, and the mistake I was making is I was trying to, let me see if I can show you. All right, so I was trying to shape this on the vehicle, but I think the better way to do it here the way I should have been doing it is shaping it on the on here this way I can actually shape it to the correct lines that I need instead of guessing because I was getting real frustrated with like okay do it this way bend it that way and and then I realized wait a second I should just do it like this and then I can see my exact line where I want everything to sit so that's working out a lot better it's fitting way better now doing it this way I need this to be more straight yeah I don't have any of my camera crew with me I need a tripod or something all right well I'm gonna keep bending this up and then I'll uh, bring you back in to see where we're at. All right, in order for me to get this hatch to open enough, I'm gonna, I think I need to use this hood hinge and this uh, trunk hinge. And I'm going to, 
by having them both open, look, I got it straight. So I can have that tailgate straight up and I won't be running into it. I like that. So I think I'm going to flatten this, this one out to match this and bolt them together like that. Well, actually, I think I'm going to go with these hinges here. I bought these at Menards. It's going to be a lot less complicated and some days you just got to say, you know what, and just get it done quicker. So, so we got to decide, I'm going to decide to uh, put this on the outside or the inside. And actually, oh my god, oh, I just got, I just thought about this. Alright, well here's another fail on my part. The other day, I fiberglassed here and here, just trying to get it to kind of hold itself. And you can see, over here, I'm way past, I'm past that line. You look over here, I'm not even touching the line. So something moved while it was drying and now I get to cut that fiberglass off and start over and I got a and I started some fiberglass on the inside I got to cut that off too all right well we got our uh, five gallon bucket cover got our material here fiberglass hair I like this because of the, the fibers are are mixed in there so it's more structural I'll get our hardener and we just do a stripe like that And mix it till it's all one color. I don't want to be putting uh, putting this on when it looks like a zebra. Now I've tried to mix this with just that um, screwdriver or something. It just don't work. You got to fold it like dough, and that's how it really gets in there mixed up good. Yeah, I don't see any red streaks, so I think we're I think we're good to go. Let's take some and place it on there. That way it's all gonna become all one piece there. Let that sit and dry. Easy for you to say. What? <laughs> All right, to be continued, okay? Until something else breaks, we'll see you later.